Welcome back to Route 40 Rust, and today we're exploring B&K Auto Sales in Wells County, Indiana. Let's check it out. What? Okay. Is that your steering wheel? Yeah. yeah. Look at the, uh, oh gosh. Look at the curved out rear view mirror. Heck yeah, it is. Put that in the mental notes. Oh, it's even got like the little switch on the back for your. It must be out of something else. I don't know. The bracket fits in there pretty good. I don't really think it'd be too close to the windshield. Look at that. I've never seen one, so I got like a rusty looking cream one. Hmm. What's it held on with? Yeah. No, I just thought about your T3 headlights. Oh. Uh, I would talk to them before. Well, they're not doing hot rods up there. So. I like the wrap around taillights on these. This is this a Dodge? This thing? What is it? Or oh, yeah, it should be an international. I never know their models 1200, 1100 D's. Yeah, definitely an international. 
a lot of Corvairs. Man, I like the color on that. Wagoneer. Yeah. Man, I almost want to like just pressure wash this. Do yours have these wrap around? Yeah, it doesn't. These are slick. So I'm, it's got those, I'm guessing, early to mid 70s. Hmm. What's that little guy? Metropolitan. Oh. I think it's Nash. Yeah, Nash. The place in German town, I got two of those. Whoa. Hmm. What's that? I don't know. I thought it was like a Jeep truck. Oh, man. Grab handle. Yeah. A... Well, that's a good T post. Built some fence. A J300. No. Five lug axles. I don't know what a J. What's a, what's a J300 get you? Four wheel drive. Huh. Yeah. Doesn't look like it has a grill on it though. Cool gauges. A little sweep gauge. Shame that's cracked. Yeah. It's got the type of tires you need on your uh 65. Like, what about it? Same tires. Oh, they look like that style. Yeah, those are those are cool. Very cool. A lot of Corvairs. Came in with a junk engine laying in the front of one. Ah. Nope, I don't need to look at it. I do love those tires. <laughs> And that International's got a clean grill on it. If anybody's looking for something like that. And those International guys, they got the monies. That one's been touched a little bit. I don't know the diameter that you would want to go with, but I think that style, yeah. like that Ranger forest forestry truck look. Yeah. Need to navigate my way through this little pencil hook. Huh. Does that thing have like good tires on it? Like you're considering buying the tires off of it? That's gonna be a pain <laughs> to get those off of there. C10. And by whom? Go. Man.
Look at this. What a year it is. Old Lincoln, full of dirt. Been flooded. I guess it get some high water back here. That thing's packed full of dirt. I mean, you don't see a lot of old Lincolns around, you know. That trim. I bet that's some important pieces to people who know a thing about things. You a grandmaster? Uh, special. Does that mean it's special? Because yeah. roadmaster just says that, doesn't it? Roadmasters, I think, have four four holes where somebody's cut them out. The rest of them oh gosh! Three. Check this out right behind you. Oh no gosh! I tell you what, I run into a lot of international people that seem like they can't find parts in junkyards. But look, we got good international parts. The grill on that truck was, I wish I knew the models more. I need to get in the business of selling international parts. This had a V8, so it would have a uh, 345. Something like that. Travel walls are cool. Look at the roof rack. This thing is pretty amazing to be here. Alright, let me ask you a, a very personal question, Jared. Oh. Check out the seat. Hold on. Stop a second. Man, look at the wood panel on this thing. <laughs> oh, someone robbed that little international harvester sign or emblem. Alright, one of these. This color, which is probably awesome, with this wood. The luggage rack versus the color of that Wagoneer. Uh, Either one in mint condition. Like a family vacation. It's 1982. You're going to Wisconsin for some pike fishing. As much as I do Gosh. love the, the Wagoneer color, I think. Oh, isn't that amazing? It's the same way. I just want to stand here. Look at that seat. The, the pattern. Look how much room is in this thing. Look at the door panel. Wow. What we got here? A thick green lawn for 1995. Barefoot grass. Trailer break. Early. Oh. Look at this thing. How do you drop the tailgate from the inside? Like the wagon here. Look at that. It's all there. Travel wall. What a good looking. I've never really got up. You know, you see a lot of scouts redone. Is this a gas fill? Look at that. I don't know. No. It has to be. Where else do you put gas in it? No, there's a gas fill back here. I think it's got like a reserve tank. Oh, yeah. No, that, it's pretty nice. International people need to, what is that? Can we get this hood open? There's a line coming up off of it. I don't think so. She's got things like Noah's Ark. Maybe a tree fell on it. Battery. That thing's great. Yeah. You need to know about that gas fill. This is what your Wagoneer was supposed to trailer to Moab. Huh. That would have been quite the fiasco, I'm sure. Yeah. 
this is this an AMC? Is this a Javelin? No. No. I'm stupid. What's the difference in the CJ drills compared to this one? There's more slots in the CJ. Yeah. I don't know why they only had the five slots. <laughs> car once laid here that travel all is awesome yeah. i mean i like wagoneers and all but that thing's it's a shame the roof is i mean it's fixable right. what's that white car Chevy Biscayne. No. Nah. There is a lot for the eyeballs. Valiant. Trying not to walk past stuff. This is one of my new favorite Yeah. I seen one not too long ago. The fire truck. Oof. Oof. Oh man. That's got a cool yellow yeah. engine. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Ooh, look at the brush guard on that guy. Short box, slick. Oh, I <laughs> didn't even notice this guy. But here I am. Let me check out this ambulance real quick. Nova. Man. Oh, never mind. I thought that was like a solid steel plate. Oh, look how beef that is. Got hit hard. That is a ginormous door. That's rare. Tailgate's not hurtful. I guess it's a bump side tailgate. I mean, it's bad, but not. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's beat in, but no major rot. It's there. <coughs> this is the earlier 60s. Yeah, they call them 
the wrong bed because it's got the 5960 bed on the slick wire. Four by fours had that bed on them. Inner fenders are nice. Yeah. Got matching window cranks. That's nice. Wildcat. Wildcat. All right, we seen that. Lodestar, another international. Oh, look at that. Ford Big Block two barrel carburetor intake. If that was a four barrel, I'd buy it. Hmm. How about no? What is this guy? What year? Uh, yeah. It is exceptionally ugly. It have a big block in it. It's got the hot away headlights. Wait, 67, 69, somewhere in there. Busting these windows out. Yeah. Yeah. There's our scout. How did I not see that? Uh, no specific interest in them. Is it rear engined? And this scout is a goner. Check out this burning. Ooh, I just walked into some cockleburrs. What is it? Not a Pontiac. I'm thinking DeSoto or a Nash or something. Gosh, look at this. I mean, that's a lot of meat. You have to lay your whole belly on there to work on that thing. DeSoto. Ranchero. Hmm. Wonder what's in this fair lane. I like that color. Not for motor parts. Not for motor parts. Then I don't want to know what's in it. A good FE says two sixty. Okay. 
Fairlane 500. Must have something good in it. Now I want to know what's in this thing. <clears throat> it's got some old three pack of gauges in it. Man's here is cool looking. Look at the wheels that they got on it. Hmm. And it says not for motor parts. I can tell her. Mm-hmm. Doing it, now it's in it. Two probably or two eighty nine. Mm -hmm. You're the Ford guy. I'm not a Ford small block guy. I don't know. Badge is it says two sixty. <coughs> AC. Mm -hmm. It's not locked. Locked up. You see that turned over? Yeah. Uh, huh. I was expecting something a lot more fabulous in here, other than like a Edelbrock air cleaner. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got up here. Jeepage. All right, Jared, what's that? 58 Chevy. Is it the dual headlights? Yeah. That give yeah. it away? Quarter panel. <clears throat> How come the 58 is not as beloved as Tri-5 stuff? Guys, is that the oh, bedside sure. of this? Yeah. Is it international again? Is that Dodge? Yeah. I figured the Impala had the fancier trim. That's a bit can. Look at this rig. I like it. Ooh. I respect that. I like that light. We need one of these. Gosh. Yeah, it winch, like an old vintage tow rig parked at the shop. Outside of <clears throat> all of like, he's got a massive variety of vehicles, all in really good shape. A lot of this stuff could be project car worthy, you know? Right. But above all, like everything has awesome patina, like yeah. the roof of this car, the fenders, the doors. I was just stroking my hand across that one over there. The green and rust, but it's got marbleized doors. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know what it is about. It's a Ford, ain't it? Oh. <coughs> I've seen these forties Fords in this green color, and they get the rust. And I don't know what it is. Like the water gets on it, and it turns this. Like if you put linseed oil on this, yeah, it has like a jade marbled look. That's awesome. Look at the, I don't know if that's a bend plate or just a body tag, just how simple it is. Mm -hmm. Front clip of this is cool. Yeah. Cadillac convertible.
Is that another scout up there? Yeah, looks like it. Yes. My kind of work. Yeah, like this truck. <clears throat> Be cool, just leave it the way it is. And yeah, drive it. it even comes with a period specific pop can. Or yard art, however, cruel that is to do to a little car. Bad idea. Right. Oh, stickers. Was it worth it? This place or going this direction? <laughs> yeah, the, look look at the grill of this thing. <laughs> Ow! Dang, that's not even a sticker bush, that's just I got a shifter on this guy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What year is that one? Can't tell. 64. Doghouse is laying in the bed. It's got marker lamps on the bed. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> or is that just a reflector? Got boat carpet in our scout. Look at these. Or is that how it was? Look at these seats. These blue blue plaid. Is that like a houndstooth on the call or something? Uh, what'd you say, houndstooth? Yeah, I think it's what they call that pattern. What? Like a is this thing pink? Oh man. It's coral, not pink. Coral? <laughs> Okay. What is it? 55 Chevy. Okay. Hard to tell. Or what? Oh, man. Oh, I guess you can tell. Look at the. Look, it was turquoise underneath. It's my pants at that. Bel Air in the clock. Goodness gracious. I <clears throat> think. A guy back in the 50s would have gotten made fun of driving a coral car. I don't know. I mean, they definitely wanted it that way. I wonder if it was like, bought it for the missus and went pink. Like a Mary Kay. Didn't Mary Kay make a bunch of like promotional cars? Yeah. I know they made like pink Cadillacs and stuff you could get. Ooh. With this service bed. If this thing was in like. Would you put it on your truck? Dude, it's the aluminum. Car? Heck yeah. Would you get rid of the flatbed for this? Yeah. I would too. Especially being all women and probably ride like garbage unless you loaded it down with a lot of tools, chains. You could put uh, settling and oxygen tanks here. Yeah. Four by four? Okay. Look at the door. What's this door trim look like? Got the wood grain. This was. <laughs> he was a welder in the 70s. He had lots of money. Look at this door. Came off this truck. Alright, what's this, Jared? Another 58 Chevy. Okay. Because of that body line there? Yeah. Get off. 
the other one was the Biscayne. This is a Delray. I forget which one's the cheapest one. What? There's gonna be a snake in here. I just wanna know what engine you are. Mm, small block. Ah. Ah. Like some Mirror's gone. All right, so that that wouldn't have had a door. That should have had a door. But being aluminum, you can make something and just. Got the outlet on Look at this thing. Where's the outlet at? Oh no way. Uh nope. I've never tigged. Oh, look, you got some sort of like holders for stuff, a uh, hose reel. Being aluminum, the bed's pretty solid. Oh yeah, look, your tanks would come up through here. That's cool. What is that lever? Is it tightened down the chain around it? Uh, like an old school binder. Must it's got a spring. There's another one over here. Looks are, are so you bad. probably just lap loop your chain around the top of the bottles and bind them back. Like there's a binder on the other side too. Yeah. Right behind it, there's a spot for tanks. Yeah. Oh, there's the door. Hmm. I don't think it's long enough. Is yours like an eight foot bed? No. <laughs> I'm sitting on the screwdrivers. Oh, it's got. Oh, it's missing this door, that door. Huh. Man. Nope. Ow. It's just dented in, and that's. I don't know, they look awful close together for eight lug. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a half-time cap to me. Yeah. But yeah, there's no eight lug with a four-inch diameter. That could be the axle cap pushing through. But oh. Somebody tried to put it on a three-quarter. What did the internationals use? Uh, 345s or 292s. And the only way to tell the difference is like, that I know, because I'm not an international guy, like you measure the gap on the intake or something. I think they're fairly interchangeable in parts. If this is a four barrel flavor, which we'll never know, the intake would be worth some money. Like everything else, like finding a four barrel, but. Do you like this style Ford? Like late 50s, early 60s? Mm. I'll just say yeah, but I ain't giving it much thought. I like on all trucks, and they need to do it with modern trucks, is when you have better visibility, like with the curved windshield like this. Because driving like big service trucks, that A pillar is such a blind spot, like on a 90 degree turn in the road. The worst spot is the knee knocker right there where they stick out. Yeah. But they didn't build this truck because they care about how you feel inside of it. It's got a cap on it. <clears throat> oh, is this really the end of the good stuff? Yeah, looks like it. That's sad. We're gonna have to venture up in that. Was that a gremlin or something? Another straight six Chevelle for you on a Nova. Is that a Coleman folding table or like a kid's toy? I don't 
You see the mirror on that? Yeah, I see the cool mirror. Looking? I forgot to measure well, what I needed. Instead of getting the whole bracketry. Looks like one of those fold out picnic tables. That one might be for children. Uh, there's no way it's definitely a 352 fa an FE family does it is there a sticker on that valve cover that says anything like any mission sticker no. oh, and there's no way to tell them but it's just a two barrel full leaves looks a little bit short for your drug. Well, I'd say this one was <laughs> destroyed in the accident that put it here. Along with the trim. It's got the wrap around your bumper. And these are some like deer hunting woods right here. You could set up in this truck. And... Is that a sweep gauge? All right, hold on. Oh, it's inflated. It's pretty, pretty gone. What thing? You think the one at uh, McAfee's is it like that bumper? Or does it stick out? This one looks pretty good. And I never knew that they had a seal. Maybe that's something that they just put on afterwards. That trim's good. What are you missing? You, how many complete sets you got? Just the one for my dump truck. And that's a complete set? Yeah. And no extra pieces, period? Uh, one of the doors is kind of beat up. I think it's attached to the side. You want to get some of this trim off for your truck? That door's pretty good right there. Yeah, I do, but I'm not sure I want to. You know, I don't know how this guy works, like price wise. You know, he might want 100 bucks for that, which is fair, you know, right. but I don't want to go pulling it all off. It looks like I don't know, it could probably be polished out, but it looks pretty rough. I mean, that door, it's not very, uh, shiny. That's a, it's the, I'll snap a picture and I'll see what. See what he thinks. Is it worth trying to weasel up through there? Oh, oh, oh. Pontiac's version of a Savette. Hey, check out this tree that grew up perfectly on these tires. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Hmm. Good for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems safe. This is 
67. Well, because they, they would have put a reflector here, I'm guessing by 68, right? Look, Ford. FE. Two barrel. Two barrel. Did you say you found one at Barnett's? Yeah, he's got one. He only wanted like 40 bucks, but I don't want to pick it up and like lift it. I'd help you get it. Is that a, there's the jack, but an additional battery box maybe for it. How much do they sell for? I don't know. I mean, it being a, a cast kind of sucks, but... Um. <clears throat> Another bump side right there. I don't know if this is 360 action. Shut the hood, Jared. It still shuts good. Ooh, trim. It just wants to come home. <laughs> Does it have trim over there? Oh, it got hit, didn't it? I think your truck would look good with trim. Yeah, it, it needs to get like kind of dulled up with like yeah. cab lights and you know. Man, look at this. this tires look good on this truck. Ooh, look at the lower trim. That looks good. That'd really break up your truck. My rust. <laughs> if they added marker lamps in it. I wonder if this was like a work truck and they made it meet. Oh gosh, this got trim. Which one do you like better? I guess about the same in it. That's a little bit sadder. Is this just a F100? Custom cab. This thing is cool. Wimbledon white. Oh, there's some trim in there, but it doesn't look good. The tie downs. What she got in the nothing there's a suburban with a oh, high yeah. topper on it man there's a real clean square body there well, i guess we're gonna turn our attention away from anyway Let's see if this guy's got trim on the other side you think that i Ooh. I kind of prefer the slim on this white one, especially if you're going to have the rockers trim too. Yeah. I guess I could figure out where he's at on trim stuff with that slick. I don't know. You want to pop it off now? I doubt it'd be that much. What are you thinking? But that's missing it, so I can't. You gotta pick and choose where you get it from, though. Yeah, but I could get Possibly all of it. All of it. I mean, I'm not. Uh, this is a '72. Ah. Well, I'm stuck. I see trim. Oh. Oh yeah, she's got it all. All decent over there. Yeah, and this one's half off. <clears throat> the only issue that one's got a slight indention on the uh, driver's door. Oh yeah, yeah, you could probably straighten that. Actually, yeah, it wasn't the best. You could get the piece off the bed and cut it down. Nah, I mean, it's going to match my truck pretty good. I like this stuff. Let me think. I don't see any reasons the fenders are the same, the doors are the same. This door's in good shape. Minus the barnacles. Ugh. 
Ooh, a snake. You don't like snakes, do you, Jared? A little. He's like off the ground, coiled up on some grass. on you're the trim popper off her master let's take this one with me Get off the Corvair. There's rules about standing on cars around here. Now I'm very uh, snake conscious. Oh yes. The barn doors. Look at how clean. Isn't that crazy? Trim. <clears throat> I do need glass. There's the parts of the grill in there. Didn't he say it had good doors? I don't remember. Gosh. Ooh. I need the badges off this. Is yours a custom deluxe? No, it's Silverado. Is that one better than yours or what? I think the other one's falling off. It just kind of dangles. How bad as soon as you uh, try to pry on those? It just, is it just little pegs? I think there's nuts on these. I can't remember. Yours would have a different script. Than that. I have the same. That's got the same Suburban script on the barn doors. Oh. And it looks the same. I think the starburst might look <clears throat> different, whatever you call that. It doesn't have this. I have to look. But how do you how do you get to those nuts? They're in the firewall. Take the fender off. Oh no. I'm not positive they may pop off. I wouldn't try it. That's my screwdriver. Gosh, this thing is running boards. Trim. No Actually, spoiler. You can see where somebody pried that off, so maybe it doesn't pop in. Uh, this is the one I needed. I guess it's mm. the same, right? Yeah. That one's just backwards. I think so. This had big old mirrors on it. I want. I kind of want the spoilers. You know why? Why? Because I read that the spoiler, you know, we talk about in your Wagoneer and all my Suburban, how when you got the rear glass open and you're driving, you get a lot of fumes yeah. that spoiler is supposed to keep dirt that comes over from going back down huh. like your back window get real dirty oh yeah so it keeps the dirt and everything from coming in the back window and i think it'll help with that airflow from tailpipes i don't know but if i do luggage rack i'd want to do a spoiler <clears throat> could you off, could you sticky tape this yeah. Would you just catch on that? Yeah, there's not much to bite, but it's so light that it, I've never had problems with it. See how you go from like a wooded kind of like adventurous wonderland to this desolate, like, that's not even fun to look through parts in. That's fun. Ooh, engine. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do that with your... You went to college for taking these off, right? <laughs> Is that one? <laughs> if it breaks, we'll just, I'm gonna edit it out of the video. You want two screwdrivers? Oh gosh. Oof. I don't know. I guess I it, think it's coming, but I. You're scared. Yeah. Fuses. Ooh, a sun visor pouch that's got pockets and stuff.
I like the color. Did what I just hear I don't want to know about? Uh, the tab came off that you could double side tape it on. Crank windows. Well, I could do that with the one I got. Man. Oh, did you have one that came off? Yeah, it's just dangling. A little mouse house. This is what it came with. Soft ray tinted glass, air condition. The AC's still in there. I know, I saw that. Automatic. 31 gallon fuel tank. Jeezel Pete's Silverado equipment, solid paint. It's russet metallic S. Folding center seat, door edge guards, buckskin spec. Hmm. I wonder what buckskin square body guys. What's that? Dang it. Buckskin. Heavy duty transmission oil, heavy duty trailer wiring, comfort tilt steering. Ooh, Jared. It had a 454 in it. Crying shame. Crying shame. With the soft ray tinted glass. Gosh, this brown. This brown's awesome. I love this color. Yeah, it had the 454 in it, according to the really? data plate. There's another one back here. It's got nice chrome mirrors. Does yours need mirrors? Uh, no. It's got good mirrors. Another scout back in there. Ooh, what's back there with the wood bed? We yeah. still got... That's got a good quarter panel on that one. I don't know about you, but I can't. <laughs> I ain't Prager's. I just eat good. Are we going to gym today or else? Mm, I don't know. Like, I wonder if that Tin Lizzie restaurant being car related Mustang. Was it actually open? I don't know. Gosh, this thing's been ravaged. Judging by the rockers and the Quarter panels looks like it's too nice to be. Old water, rear rear air. Hmm. Do you think that's fuel tank out of this guy? I have no idea. Gosh. Ow. I'm probably gonna need a fuel tank sooner or later. Does have a hitch on it? Yeah factory whatever same as that three-quarter ton up there like a factory heavy duty trailer wiring this one back here is full of you can do it yours. I could do that ooh I just got this thing got a like a junkyard smell you smell that? Is that what copperhead snakes are supposed to smell like? Copperhead snake smell? Yeah, it smell like cucumbers or something. I've never heard that. Do you smell that though? It's like a perfumey smell? I smell varnish gas probably oh. in this truck. Yeah, that's it. That's, that I is like a that pleasant smell. odor. Yeah, I love that smell. Like, <laughs> I thought it was like an old air. I don't want to step on this door. It smells better than. It's got the, the new gas. Key covers. Yeah. That the old gas smell reminds me of when me and Dad bought my Impala. Gosh. We could make a candle out of. Got a good quarter on it. Those mirrors are nice, aren't they? Yeah. 89. 280,000 miles. Man, I want this mirror. 
bracket. That ain't coming off. I got a Leatherman with me. I got a pair of pliers. Hmm. Ooh, ah, center caps. But they got the big hole in the middle for the locking hub. Is that poison ivy? No. Oh. No, it's thorns. Just get in there. Let me know if you need my leather one. There's a snow plow in here. A smaller one. Here. By the door. I was thinking about taking those bolts out and just taking the whole bracket. Mm -hmm. Some geo tracker stuff you wouldn't understand. When Jeeps do <laughs> Jeeps do ducks, geo trackers do <laughs> creepy baby dolls. Look at that, they're all in the line. I like the geo tracker. Me too. Look at them. T topping, hand e brake. Look at that dash. I mean, you could literally bash your whole body against it. Right? Front discs. Whatever that's. <laughs> the weights of a drum. What is that? Oh, no. It looks like the counterweights or the balancing weights on a drum. Wall. It's got a drum on it. Front disc, airbag deployment. This is like a. Hmm. You know why this thing's so awesome? It's a Chevette Sport. I'd, I'd rock it. I don't like those Corvettes, but something kind of draws me to it. Maybe it's the. The color's kind of cool. Oh man! Because the way it's all fit, it looks like that uh, that rainbowy chameleon paint job that Jeff Gordon made famous in NASCAR. I bet this is a rattle can job from uh, <laughs> that metallic like rim paint or something. Look like at Camaro with its flame stickers. But now that it's faded, look at that. That's actually kind of. You know what? I don't want to be in this area anymore. I don't either. Camaros and junkyard Corvettes make me nauseous. Ooh, a Camino. Up there. I see a slick. You want to check it out and then go talk to him? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> it's another early 60s one. With cab lights. I don't know. I bet if all of these Camaros have aftermarket CD players in them and they all have like Nickelback CDs or Drowning Pool. Stained. Stained, yeah. Which I like all three of those bands, don't get me wrong. Are you, serious? I, I, you gotta walk home. You don't like Disturbed? No. Why not? Was they sing Let the Bodies Hit the Floor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Why not? <laughs> Dude, my toddler sings that song. But she sings random stuff like, let the kittens hit the foot. <laughs> See? I think Nickelback's probably one of the most hated bands. <sighs> it had to be a black bumper. Oh, that's cool. I've already amassed a big collection of those. It's a little bit dim, I think. Hmm. Nice dash. Red and white. 
missing all the white things off the knobs. Maybe the glove box headliners. Here's your, is that the door frame? Yeah. Oh, it never had white on it. Oh, look at you. you want me to pick a hole in it? <laughs> it's actually the best condition one I've ever seen. Me too. Steering wheel button. This thing was about as base model as it comes. It's got nothing. <coughs> That's custom cab on the doorknob, though. Yeah, get an armrest out of the deal. Man, I didn't even think to look at that. Good job. The ones I want to use, I'll get. Uh, yeah, just I've bought one. I just never. It's got Tennessee antique tags on it. It's got a PTO on it. it? Oh, a bottle of what? Dyke. Oh, yeah, everybody needs <laughs> some of that. You need a top notch cab corner repair. The rivets I can respect. Look at the bend job. <laughs> they would have followed through on that repair. Do you need a uh, lighter? No. I have a lighter. That doesn't work. I'm gonna put my stuff in there. You got a hubcap off a Chevette and an aftermarket door pouch. Okay. Do you think they're aftermarket? Uh, maybe not, just because. We've seen half a dozen of them now. Is this the cat from signing in? I think so. When I got back from Iraq, my wife bought me a cat and it was ugly, like really ugly. I named it after like the base I was at. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fine with cats. I just. <clears throat> Ooh. That red truck. International? Yeah. Hmm. Ario. That's cool. Yeah, that Old grain truck. You know what the REO stands for? It's the guy's initials. Ransom Eli Olds. Yeah. He's the founder of Oldsmobile. All right, we'll do this. Do you know two bands that have are named after this truck? Just REO Speedwagon. I'll know the other. The Diamond Rio? Oh. Diamond Rio and yeah. REO Speedwagon. I don't know why you'd. I wonder if they're like grew up driving one or they just wanted to be cool. Maybe Diamond Rio is like R I O, but. I think so. Okay. But I know REO Speedwagon. Oh, that's cool. Dale Logue Reynolds. Reynolds, Indiana. Oh, man. Look at those mirrors. Oh, man. I just... Old Dick Kelly excavating and construction, Chalmers, Indiana. Cool. This truck probably paid itself off like 50 times over. Another Lodestar. Always a good looking truck. Grand Cherokee, probably 2008. <laughs> 37 V6. Look at that Mercury. Yeah. That is like your old Jeep, isn't it? We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got big... brackets, I could make my own little, I just wanted the rod mainly, I could make some. I would end the living crap out of this car. That is neat. Looks like a decent car, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Is that one of those Dodge little wagon knee truck things? So. Chevrolet. Is that another Razzle? Mm, looks like it. I mean, that one decided. Maybe a little fire truck. I wonder if that's a square body. Hmm. It's always worth. Smells weird over here. This is an international. Yeah. I wonder if they dumped all these number twos here for a weird reason. It smells. I'm getting a lot of smells today. Maybe. I want pickles and ice cream for lunch. Maybe I stepped in cat poop. Did that Pat F? Graham. Did the F1 have that? I didn't even look. No, it didn't. Ooh, that's the same as this, isn't it? Yeah. This side's good here. And I've got this one already. Yeah. It's missing the fender here, but it's got a good cab, a good door. Well, then I still gotta make a trip back there. The door trims a little beat up, but. Yeah. All right, so I'll have to come get the. Cab corners off this. Man, look at that seat. Oh, it's got the bottom stuff too. <clears throat> I might ask about that for my truck. For your 65? Yeah. How's it look on that side? Depends how crunchy it is. I feel like you sit on it and it's gonna get out of here. You got keys, headlight bezel. This is a looks like underwear maybe. Oh, it's a Ranger. Oh, does it have a Ranger grill with the red stripe? No, it is a Ranger grill though. I thought they had a red stripe on it. Ooh, what's in it? Oh, it's the Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah, same cab for me. It's like razor sharp. Again. It's an FE. What's it say? It's still got a sticker. I don't know what that says. It's 
400. It's not. It's a big block. <laughs> Did it say 390? Maybe. Oh. Two barrel. Yeah. But still, it's a 390. Hmm. <clears throat> I want that engine. Not five, six hundred dollars worth, but he seems like more of a Chevy guy. So the Fords are cheaper. I destroyed that sticker. It's on the ground. There's another Cougar. A car or a cat? Cat. Did yours have this? Yeah. That's awesome. Huh. Actually, hang on. I need a dipstick. No! <laughs> this thing's two wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. Yours is four wheel drive, it's got a different dipstick. I'm dead serious. Really? Is yours going to the pan? It's up front like this. It goes into the oil filter adapter? I don't know. Might not be the right one. If you got a four by four, is your oil pan a rear or front sump? I've never paid attention to it. If you got a rear sump pan, it's a four by four engine, oh. and the dipstick will go into the pan. Is it the same location up front like that, or? I don't know. Never owned one. But. <sighs> But still, you'd get 390 crank, 390 connecting rods. You put that in a 360, which strokes it out. And then you got a 390 again. You gonna get this trim if it's cheap enough? Yeah, we'll see what he says on the yeah, price. Anyway, you seen Harry and the Hendersons, right? Yeah. Boom. Oh man. Get that and put the like uh, <laughs> dent on the roof where he, Bigfoot puts his head through it so he can fit. Ford Explorer. Man, this thing's side by Look at that. It's got a Scotia body filler on it. It's either no drivetrain or it's set up like a gasser. That's cool. Oh yeah. covers like this it just has like a little glove box compartment thing yeah the newer ones have like four, four cup holders in them and that's what I'm like an insert yeah well the whole engine cover is different so this one different. belonged to the city of Fort Wayne Indiana ooh hubcaps yeah I bolt Transstar. With an intense amount of pinstriping. Oh, look at this. Ratchet strap fuel tank. Okay. Is that a gonna drive? Yeah. This is daily. <laughs> he loves cat. That's a sleeper cap over too. Huh. That's pretty rare. Old trash cap. 